last soundbite, we got you practicing the first four bars of the tune as tears go by using the Pima Mima finger picking pattern. In the song, these first four bars are repeated. This is then followed by a repeat of the second half of that sequence. One bar of C, one bar of D, then we have to break the pattern up to accommodate a short descending bass line. Starting on the G chord, we play the first half of the pattern, P, I, M, A, then shift the lowest note of the chord down the fret. So I switch to use my first finger here at fret two on the sixth string and repeat the first half of the picking pattern. This leads us neatly down to the open E string, which we use as the root note to play a whole bar of E minor. Uh, with the full Pima Mima pattern. So all together that's... Here's the tab for that whole line. Notice we call the shape used in the second half of the third bar G slash F sharp or G over F sharp, meaning the chord G played over an F sharp bass note. Now to the last line. This starts with two whole bars on the C chord played exactly as in the earlier lines. Then a whole bar of D, followed by a whole bar of D7th. This D7th leads us neatly back to the G for the start of the whole sequence again, which can be played through for the next verse. Here's the tab for that last line. To help you learn this, I'm going to now play through the whole sequence at a slow speed. For this demonstration, we'll split the screen so that you can check details on either hand. One and two and three and four and... found this little video useful please click on the like button if there is one or leave a comment and do feel free to share the video with your friends and if you'd like to gain full access to all our guitar teaching materials please visit the secret guitar teacher site and take a free look round at what's available there see you again soon mm -hmm.